Dear students, welcome to PMDC online lecture room. Today, I will talk about hydroxides of third period. This topic is present in chapter number 13, name S block and P block elements of grade 12 chemistry book. So first, we should know about hydroxides. Hydroxides are those compounds which produce hydroxide ions in water are those compounds in which OH group is attached within a compound through covalent bond. Look at this slide. These are the examples based on first definition of hydroxides. While the rest of examples are based on second definition of hydroxides. Now, the structure of some hydroxides based on first definition are while the structure of hydroxides based on second definition are now we are going to discuss the methods of preparation of few hydroxides number one sodium hydroxide Preparation of sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. For the preparation of sodium hydroxide, Kastner Kellner method is used. In this method, electricity is passed through saturated solution of NaCl, also called brine to form NaOH. Now look at this slide. In this slide, you can see crystals of sodium hydroxide. Some of the important properties of sodium hydroxide are it is a white solid with a soapy touch it is also called caustic soda because its concentrated solution corrodes the skin it is deliquescent It is soluble in water. It is also slightly soluble in alcohol. Magnesium hydroxide is also an example of hydroxide. It can be prepared by the following method. When soluble magnesium salts react with KOH as a result magnesium hydroxide is formed. Now in this light you can see crystals of magnesium hydroxide. Some of the important properties of magnesium hydroxide are it is used to prepare magnesia suspension of magnesium hydroxide is also called milk of magnesia this milk of magnesia is used as either 
एंट एसिड आर ऑक्सीटिव डिपेंडिंग ऑन कंसेंट्रेशन इट इज यूज इन इंडस्ट्रीज टू न्यूट्रलाइज एसिडिक वेस्ट वॉटर एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज द इनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाइड्रोक्साइड the following two methods are used to prepare aluminum hydroxide number 1 by reaction of alkali and aluminum salts in this method when an alkali reacts with an aqueous solution of aluminum salt as a result aluminum hydroxide is formed The second method of preparation is by hydrolysis of aluminum chloride. In this method aluminum chloride on hydrolysis produces aluminum hydroxide. Now in this slide you can see crystals of aluminum hydroxide some of the important properties of aluminum hydroxide are it is insoluble in water it is soluble in acids and alkalis it reacts with alkalis to form aluminates the precipitated hydroxide absorb various dyes and form coloring matter called lac a lac is formed by precipitating a dye with an inert binder or mordant this mordant is usually a metallic salt the last hydroxide is silicon tetrahydroxide it is prepared by heating silicon dioxide and water at a temperature of 800 degree centigrade Now in this light you can see crystals of silicon tetra hydroxide some of the important properties of silicon tetra hydroxide are it occurs as a molecule it is used to prepare solar cells it is used to prepare semiconductors it is used by photovoltaic industry it is unstable and quickly polymerizes no dear students our today's lecture also include assignments based on short questions and the following mcqs please submit the solution of these assignments to a respective professor thank you very much and take care